बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट आई एम प्लीज टू बी हेयर विद यू टू इनोग्रेट द एम्बिशियस न्यू प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज ए बोल्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट इन मोबिलाइजिंग पीपल्स एक्शन फॉर पॉवर्टी इरेडिकेशन एंड सोशल जस्टिस इट इज रेवोल्यूशनरी येट पीसफुल वेल प्लैंड येट ह्यूमन सिंपल इन कंसेप्शन येट पावरफुल इन पोटेंशियल आई कंग्रेचुलेट द गवर्नमेंट एंड द पीपल ऑफ केरला फॉर डिजाइनिंग ए पॉवर्टी इरेडिकेशन प्रोग्राम विद सच ट्रिमेंडस पोटेंशियल With this new initiative Kerala has given yet another big push to its progressive traditions Your state has always prided itself in the high quality of life enjoyed by its majority by focusing on creation of human capital giving priority to education health food security and social security Kerala has the best indicators of human development in the country with this project your state has begun a novel venture to bring the benefits of social development to the disadvantaged section in society that has still remained poor this approach is in keeping with kerala's traditional success in achieving social development through the process of awareness building public demand and government response however new project goes beyond what has been done before because for the first time it makes the members of the scheme an integral part of it most important of all you have made women at the local level leaders and implementers of this scheme frankly i cannot think of any such poverty alleviation program in the country which combines the multiple social objectives of women empowerment grassroots participation in a panchayati raj framework neighborhood networking democratic accountability and increasing savings i see several opportunities in the new project the bane of our poverty alleviation programs has been that they are mostly supply driven with subsidies being doled out from above without considering local needs and possibilities this marks a refreshing change in that it gives primacy to self help and only an supporting role to governmental subsidies by promoting thrift it affords opportunities for attractive credit from banks besides teaching prudence to the poor families group savings and group action can remove the curse of money lenders since the whole system is organized transparently the thrift and savings groups can become informal banks for the poor and of the poor this project has a great advantage due to its focus on women poor women are the best savers and the most careful spenders they do not borrow indiscriminately and become heavily indebted to the lender contrast this with the practice of big borrowers who together owe as much as rupees 45000 crore to the banks our entire banking system is under pressure because of these non performing assets my government is seriously considering effective steps to recover these bad debts i only hope that the big borrowers learn from our poor village women the dharma of repaying loans group action by women will facilitate planning from below the people's groups serve as watchdog to keep track of public spending their growth is restricted only by the innovations that the groups are capable of coming up with i don't see this as a mere inauguration of a 
governmental program i see it as the launching of a social movement for change capable of becoming a sustainable and irresistible force for liberation and progress i exhort the women's group to be active and alert to eschew conflicts to be prudent in borrowing and intelligent in investing and to acquire skills and grow in confidence these organization should strive to recreate the traditional village harmony even while achieving progress to strive to attain gandhi ji's vision of swaraj if only our governments can design and implement more such schemes we will be able to remove the distrust in people's minds and restore their faith in our institutions it is in the fitness of things that this state wide program is being inaugurated in the district of mallapuram which is one of the backward districts of kerala i understand that there has been a pilot project for some time and that the lessons learned have been incorporated into the state wide new program dear friends different states have many impressive programs for poverty alleviation and rural development they each have a unique approach to solving the specific problems of their areas this is genuine decentralization of developmental action my government shall fully back all such programs we will also encourage the states to learn from each other so that we eradicate poverty quickly while i wholeheartedly congratulate the government of kerala for this model scheme permit me to point out few problems that all poverty alleviation programs are facing in the country the low growth in industrial and agricultural sectors and the growing unemployment have created a strain on the government in its efforts to maintain the social infrastructure that has been created rural infrastructure has been especially neglected without a string infrastructure it is difficult to support and sustain primary secondary and tertiary income generation activities but infrastructure improvement needs resources generating these resources is not easy this is a challenge that india needs to face squarely in future